Listen Up is back looking at legal challenges attempting to make prostitution a charter right in Canadian law. It's a subject being studied at the University of British Columbia. Well, they're arguing a violation of Section 7 of our Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which protects people's right to liberty and their right to security of the person. And they're saying that prostitution is liberty. Professor Benedict's specialty is sexual violence against women. When it comes to prostitution, she doesn't see any advantage for safety in the current court challenge. Well, um, the first thing that will happen is that it will increase demand, right? When you legalize something, you normalize it, and normalization will increase demand to some degree. It will not make women safe. Instead, she worries it will increase Canada's online advertising of where to find a prostitute. Women who are being pimped out through online services are incredibly vulnerable and they don't even have access to the street support worker or the, the faith group outreach worker who might actually encounter them on the street and be able to offer some comfort, some support and some opportunities for exit. The court challenge is a values shift for Canada. Strike down prostitution laws in order to make it a legitimate business for everyone and the state would then become the biggest pimp of all. Ben Perrin teaches criminal law and has studied the push to legalize prostitution. Who is the system of legalization really designed to benefit? It's designed to benefit pimps and traffickers, and it's designed to pr uh, protect the Johns, to give them not only a, a legal way to have an entitlement to pay for sex on demand and own someone else's body, but it's also designed to protect them from health risks, and it's a one-sided protection. And when it comes to the argument that prostitution is a choice? This is a, a false um, argument that's being used, that it's uh, somehow out of choice. And the, the media, of course, will, uh, will profile and highlight people who show up in court with a dominatrix whip is what happened in Ontario. This is what gets the headlines. Well, well, who's not on TV are people who are suffering in silence, who are children and traffic persons who don't parade in front of television cameras. But there are former prostitutes speaking out. One of the amazing women involved in the court challenge going on in Ontario said this in her deposition. Working for an agency where you are driven to a house seems safer, but in the end, I was alone and on my own. There were times the driver would hear me screaming and he wouldn't come. Trisha Bapti was a prostitute for 15 years and later worked as a citizen journalist every day of the trial of 26 prostitutes murdered by Robert Picton. Some had been her friends. They said if we had it legalized, if we had a brothel, Picton's victims never would have happened. We look at countries where they have brothels, women like Picton's victims would have never been allowed in the front door. The thing about the laws um, is it was never the law that beat or raped us. It was um, men. And it was never the location we were in that made it unsafe. It was the men we were in that location with. And that's what we need to remember, is that to legalize prostitution is essentially saying it's open season on our women. Advocates against legalized prostitution want members of parliament on their side. In Winnipeg, MP Joyce Smith gets that message. My opinion is this is garbage. Uh, prostitution is a very dangerous uh, place to be and I'm totally against any of this happening in Canada. The legalization, the, um, the acknowledgement uh, that prostitution is an industry is ridiculous. Prostitution is uh, something that has come out of uh, a place where uh, people are put into positions or forced into positions to be prostitutes and I would question the motivation behind this court challenge. There's nothing good about prostitution, nothing. It is, it is a diabolical um, situation that women are put in and it's very, very dangerous for them. And that brings it back again to the competing rights lawmakers must juggle. 
What they're not making arguments about, interestingly enough, is the provision of the charter that gives you the right um, not to be discriminated against on the basis of your sex. The sex equality provision that says our laws have to be consistent with the equality of women. That provision is not being mentioned. What will decriminalization do? Uh, the other thing um, uh, that it will do is that it will turn prostitution into a business and it will turn pimps into businessmen who can advocate for the same kinds of rights that other business owners have. And we saw that with the stripping industry. Organized crime actually would be quite happy to have prostitution legalized to some degree. And they're going to be very quick, if those laws are struck down, to move in and set up as much legal apparatus as they can to make money off of prostitution. When we return, a customer who spent thousands of dollars on sex for sale. His story, next.